Hello internet, internet. Big Dave here, and I am Chief. This is Trash TV by Lawrence Russell. We are playing the beta demo version here on Try It. Trash TV was, in fact, one of the Level Up 2011 selections. The demo is available right now for your consumption on Steam. The basic premise of this game is that it is a 2D platformer with some gunplay and puzzle solving. You play as one of two televisions who are attempting to escape a recycling plant. You can see our heroes here in the center and right of the screen, Signal and Static, who are two old-school analog televisions who don't know that their time has passed and they want to escape being melted down and turned into some other piece of green, eco-friendly technology. And they're going to do that with guns and jumping and puzzle solving. So here we go. Let's go ahead and get into the demo. It is super short. It is uh, just barely a level, really. It's uh, uh, I'm going to assume a very early part of the game. Uh, it will wet your palate for what this game has to offer, and then it will leave you hungry. It's going to put the spoon of delicious, delicious cake in your mouth and then pull it out before you can close your jaws around it. You will just barely get a hint of the sweetness that is Trash TV, and then you will be left out in the cold cold with your belly growling. So let's go ahead and get into things here. We will play as Signal. And first things first, look at the art style. Wonderful, great pixel art style. Very reminiscent to me of uh, Super Crate Box. As you can see, kind of that same sort of uh, blocky pixel aesthetic. Enemies sort of even moving the same, you know, just a, a trail of enemies, small ones, big ones. Definitely a bit of a nod here to that game, whether intentional or not. And you can shoot. <laughs> so again, uh, definitely not copying that game. No, no indication of that here. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying that they're uh, in any way uh, stealing from the concept. I'm just saying the art style is uh, vaguely familiar uh, to uh, and uh, to fans of Super Crate Box. Uh, you will definitely get that aesthetic, that vibe. I do like the way that you give off light. You are a television after all. Uh, unplugged, uncorded, apparently a sentient television with your own. A nuclear fusion power supply, but uh, hey, that's all right. So this is a shoot 'em up puzzle platformer, and uh, you will be presented with your first puzzle right away in this demo here. And as you can see, I cannot escape, but I do see this red glowing object just ahead of me. What is it? Here it is. What is it? I don't know. Let's try it out. Let's take a shot. Sticks on the wall, and boom. So it's a rocket launcher. It's a sticky rocket launcher. And I do really love the effects that they use in this game. Uh, the, the little uh, screen shake, the uh, color distortion. I mean, it's all really great. This is one of the, the examples of a game that can start with a basic 2D art style, a very uh, bare-bones pixel art style, and then use modern, uh, modern effects to really, really amp it up and ramp it up to a new level. So uh, we're going to get to the job of solving puzzles here and helping little signal escape from this recycling facility. Uh, so let's just start playing around. Okay, so we can, it's a sticky rocket launcher, so we can attach rockets, okay, to these little fellers. Okay, and we can blow the boxes up from underneath. Very cool. But this big guy, there we go. Oh, knockback. But uh, yeah, hey, we've, uh, we've opened a path downward. And luckily enough for us, the enemies are going to stop coming. Excellent. So we will move through. Ooh, we will move through here and on to our next segment. And we have another puzzle. Nice. And uh, as you can see, um, this is not necessarily immediately evident because I didn't see it the first time I, I came through. There is actually a little hint in the background as to what you should do. If you see the uh, char mark on the background and the woo 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 symbol going up, 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 the little television happily ascending the obstacle here. That looks to me like someone who's having a deliciously fun rocket jump. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, try our hand at a little bit of a rocket jump, shall we? Ooh, there we go. And we cleared it. So a nice little hint there, a nice way of tutorial tutorializing the level without just uh, sh jamming it in your face, uh, you know, with this giant arrow that says, Hey, go here or do this. This is the way you want to go. I don't, even, I don't even know what that voice was. <laughs> Wait, that's my new character, T Tutorial Tim. He'll be presented in the next DreamWorks animated motion feature. Watch out for him. Summer 2013. 
So we are moving on to our next puzzle. Uh, one thing you'll notice so far, at least in this early going, uh, they are compartmentalizing each puzzle. They are basically just giving you one simple puzzle to solve and then moving you on to the next area where they're segmenting you out and giving you another simple puzzle to solve. I don't know if that's a feature of this being uh, a tutorial early level in the demo or if this will actually be sort of indicative of, of future gameplay. Oh my God, what am I gonna... And now they are not giving me any helpful pictograms on the back wall uh, in order to help me so solve this. So I imagine I can't make the jump. I cannot really like that little death effect uh, where you just basically go to the uh, to the signal screen and then uh, just rewind. Hey, you're a television after all. So I guess televisions can't rewind in and of themselves. But, you know, let's just suspend our disbelief and pretend. So this is another rocket jump opportunity here. There it is. All right. Very nice. So you can kind of see the, the way that this works. I mean, the the puzzle design is is interesting. I mean, it's not blowing me away with its uh, with its new and fresh take on puzzle platforming, but uh, it's it's got just enough going for it that it really is keeping me interested and keeping me hooked. Again, the art style is amazing. Uh, the graphics, the f fidelity of the graphics is perfect. It's, it's right on with what they're going for, and I really, really enjoy it. Uh, I think the game overall shows a lot of promise. It is an early demo, and the uh, fact of the matter is we're almost finished with it, so it is very short uh, as well. Okay. Let's see. I don't even remember how I got through this the last time. Uh, yeah. Oh, there we go. Nice. An assisted rocket jump for me. And that is pretty much it. We are done. There is our exit. Our television signal is very happy, and we are on our way to better things. Thanks for playing the Trash TV interactive trailer. And that is all. We restart back at the beginning of the level and get another chance to go through it. Uh, we do already have our rocket launcher equipped, so no need to even grab this one. But there you have it. This is the game. This is what it is. And uh, I really, really think that this thing has a lot of potential. Trash TV from Lawrence Russell. Really looking forward to this coming, uh, becoming a more fleshed out and complete game. There is a trailer on Steam which shows a lot more of the game. And it really, really intrigues me. It has definitely piqued my interest and I'm looking forward to getting more out of Trash TV. I hope that you will go on Steam, search for Trash TV, and try the demo version. It is a very, very interesting and positive game. Positive? I'm not really sure that's the word I was looking for right there, but we're gonna go with it. Trash TV, a very interesting looking and positive game. It will it will give you an affirmation every day. Play it. All right, guys, I have been Big Dave, and uh, I hope you've enjoyed this very short, quick, and to-the-point episode of Try It. Until next time, take it easy.